Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. Today is a very, very special day. Today is my mum's birthday. My incredible, absolutely amazing, treasured, cherished mum. She is the most fantastic lady ever. She truly, truly is a best friend to me, the most perfect mum to me, and my mum is just absolutely everything to me. Without her in this world, it would be, well, just that. It wouldn't be anything. It really wouldn't be anything. It would be an empty void. This year has been particularly really difficult, and I know it's going to be one which will be difficult for my mum, because we have recently lost my nan, which was my mum's mum. And this is particularly difficult on us, because we are very, very close to my nan. My mum and her were more like sisters, best friends, and such an incredible mother-daughter bond. It really breaks my heart that she's not here anymore. But not just for me, it breaks my heart because my mum doesn't have her mum anymore. I don't often say this to her because I don't want to bring I don't want to bring that sort of that fall of sadness over her if she's having a good day or if she's having a good moment. Because I think I mean when you've lost your mum, it regardless of whatever age that person is, number one for the child. And then, of course, for the parent, how you must be able to contemplate that, I do not know. I mean, growing up, I have always seen my nan and my mum together. It was such an incredible, and they have such a special treasured bond. Very often, sometimes, when we would visit my nan, I would, and I'm, I'm talking recently here, I would just sit back and I would just take in the bond. I would just take in that special glow. When my mum seen my nan, it was like my mum lit up. And vice versa, my nan was the same as well. Now she did with me, and we have such a special bond, and we have such a special bond. The day I lost my nan, I think a part of me died. And when I went and seen my nan in the chapel of rest, I said to my nan, this isn't the end. We just won't be able to hold hands for a while. And that's why I correct myself when I say we had, because we have, because she is still part of everything and she always will be. Now, for my mum, this is going to be difficult for her today because, yes, it's her birthday, but it's her first birthday without her mum. My mum has had her mum by her side for many, many years of her life. And as I say, their bond is truly, truly special. Their song is, I'm just trying to think of the um, the writer of the song now, but it's Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And it's a long, it's a, a long, the, uh, the chap's name whose song it is, um, I believe he's from Hawaii. Um, so it's, 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 and regardless of that anyway, it's just a fantastic, it's a fantastic song. It really does, it really does just, <sighs> almost wrap up and sort of present their bond so beautifully to anybody who who looks upon and and sees my mum and my nan. I remember once it was my nan's birthday, and or it could have been Mother's Day actually, and it was a card which opened, which my mum brought her, and um, it played, it played this song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, and it was, I can just, and my nan was listening, and, and she was and she was welling up, and my and my mum was as well, and just really incredible. I have so many amazing, amazing bonds, um, amazing memories rather. I have amazing bonds. I think you have a very special bond with your mum, and I certainly do. My mum is ultimately my best friend, and it's been an absolute privilege all these years to be in witness of my nan and my mum's bond, and me being a part of that makes me feel so eternally grateful to the Lord above, to this life, and to my mum, my dad, and my nan. I have incredible, incredible parents. They are truly a gift from God. I have been blessed in this life, and I've been blessed in this life so much to have such wonderful, incredible parents. My mum, from ever since I can remember, has been so nurturing, so caring. She's always known and always knows what to say 
what to do in this in a situation, whether it be a happy one, whether it be a sad one, whether it be testing, whether it be something's gone wrong. If I'm studying, if I'm worrying or making career choices, my mum always seems to, when I'm having that wobble, and we all have those wobbles, my mum always seems to be able to almost hypothetically sort of pick me up, put me back on the road of life and get me going again. And I can seem to just be calmed and sort of put at ease just by my mum's words. Isn't it strange that I have, and I think this would be a lot of people could, could sort of relate to this as well, but with both of my parents, I'm very, very close. They're best friends to me. And, but even like growing up, for example, and this should sum things up, homework at school, it would be maths homework for dad and it would be English homework with mum. My parents bring so much to me on the table of life, as to speak, whether it be confidence, whether it be that shoulder to turn to or that person to turn to, whether it be for confidence, whether it be to get you through a difficult situation, whether it be to share a fantastic achievement, whether it be I've passed exams and, and we're having a celebratory meal or a get together with the family. But it's always my parents are centre. I think when you're when you're a child, it's like it's for your parents' love why you exist. And my at the moment, because we've had such a difficult year and we're losing my nan, it's been absolute hell. It really, really has been. And it still is on days. And I know my mum hurts. I know she hurts at times. But when my mum watches this, and she does, I want her to know that just because I don't always say and she knows that she is my world. She means the world to me. But I just want to say that Nan would be so, so proud of you. And for the lady you are, I know that when Nan looks down on us, that from heaven above with the Lord and with the rest of our family up there, that she's smiling down on you and that she must have the most abundance of happiness to see how strong, how determined, and what an incredible lady you are, Mum. You truly mean the world to me, and if you're sad, I'm deeply sad. If you're happy, I'm over the moon. So today being your birthday, and time you watch this, a little time would have passed. I hope you're having a fantastic time, I'm not actually with my mum at the moment. I'm just at home with my brothers because my mum and dad have gone away on an amazing, amazing trip. And I hope they're having a fantastic time. And for my mum's birthday, it it truly should be. And I really, really hope it was when you will tell me, watch this, mum. I hope it was a time for you to breathe, to switch off and just smile and enjoy something positive because you deserve it so much. You're the absolute fabric, the foundation, the pillar to this family. You're the matriarch to our family, just as Nan was to hers and is to hers still today. Your smile literally makes me feel as though that life is going to be OK. I do not know, Mum, what I would do without you. You are absolutely everything in this life, not just to me, but to Dad, to my brothers and to your grandchildren, too. You really are so incredibly special. I cannot think of any more words to say about how special and how privileged I am to have the bond with you of what I do. And yes, we have crosswords at times, but it's only because I care and I love and I want the very, very best for you. Just as I do for both you and mum, mum, yourself, mum and dad. I tried very, my very, very best throughout Nan's life to make it special and to always be there. And I'm going to do the same just for you. But we've got a lot of living and we've got a lot of fun to have. And on this roller coaster journey of life, there's going to be lots and lots of good to come. Have a fantastic birthday. I'd like to say thank you for getting me through my recent operation. Thank you for all the strength you've given me. Thank you for everything, for helping me, for making me smile on those down days. Thank you for helping me get back onto my journey of wanting to follow my career again. When life seemed so bleak and so dark without Nan, I'll be honest, there was times where I was ready to pack it all in and to close down on life. But because 
that glow from you showed me the way to carry on with a bit of stern, <laughs> a bit of stern times at, at moments and conversations from you has really got me back onto my feet. The love you and dad have given me in this life is truly incredible. You truly mean the world to me, mum. Thank you so much for everything. Until I see you, this is a big hug and the biggest kiss. And I love you so, so very much. So when you watch this, your birthday would have been over. But I hope you have a fantastic day and the most happiest birthday from my heart to yours. And as Nan, as my witness up above, you are truly one incredible, incredible lady to this world, to this family and to this life. From the bottom of my heart, Mum, thank you very much for everything. And I love you so much. Thank you, everyone, for sharing that with me. That was a message to my mum, who I cherish and throughout life, hypothetically holds my hand and, and literally stands beside me to take on everything in this life. I get so much from my parents of, of determination, of wanting to pursue such a life and if I can mirror just a small amount of what my mum and dad have achieved then I know I will always, always be successful in this life. Thank you to everybody for watching. This one is very, very special. Please join me in wishing my mum a very, very happy birthday and until next time, treasure your parents, treasure your mum, treasure your dad, treasure your grandparents. Life, as they say, is short, but it's not that short. There's plenty of time to do spontaneous, wonderful things, to really cherish and really treasure and really let somebody in your family you love know that you're there and you care and that you love, because I certainly do. Thanks very much. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye for now and bless you.